Cocklers, we're back. Got some Mini 3 Pro goodies, some new accessories for it. So, you guys wanna see what we got? Let's get into it. All right, guys, so, we got a bunch of new goodies for the drone. You guys wanna see what we got? A little bit different scenery today. We're out here in front of some of the shit boxes. So as you can see, we got project shit boxes everywhere. Roommates garbage. That's how it goes. Okay, so we got some gold joysticks for the RC Pro. Tell me those things don't look fucking sweet, right? Who doesn't like a little bit of gold accessories, you know what I mean? If you look close, they're by Sunny Life. Same guys that made that neck strap for the RC that I got last time. Good stuff. I haven't had any issues with it yet, so keep it coming. What else we got? We got another Sunny Life unit here. Sunny Life Orange Propeller Stabilizer from Mini 3 Pro. So this is basically uh, a clamp. You can clamp around the drone there and hold the, uh, the props secure so you're not gonna bust anything, bend anything, twist anything. I've had no, not too many issues sliding it into the bag, the uh, the Flymore Plus bag, but what sometimes when you do, you kind of catch a blade, you can feel it going a little janky, you don't want to bust those. I just had to buy like three different, three extra sets from DJI and it sucked. You like spending extra money when you don't have to. So yeah, prop guard. And last but not least, we got this one, Or Zero. I don't even know, that's probably the company I guess. This is uh, like a rubber, shell sleeve for the RC Pro. Makes it a little bit easier to grip, then you don't get it all dirty and messed up. I guess it would give it a little bit of uh, bounce protection if you drop it, I doubt it, it'd probably still break. But this also comes with uh, screen protectors for it. I think there's a couple in here. Yeah, it looks like three. We'll see how it goes. Let's uh, let's get into this stuff. You guys can take a proper look and we'll, uh, we'll test her out on the drone. I haven't really messed with it in a while, but let's grab it and let's see what it does. All right guys, we're gonna start with the prop guard. I've been kind of itching to get this stuff open. I've had it sitting around for like, I don't know, a week or something. It's the, you know how it goes, life gets in the way. So tonight's the night to play with some drone shit. Package it up real nice. It's hard to get it open and out here. Look at that unit. So obviously the foam in there to protect it from snapping and breaking or something like that. Looks like you got two little adjustment settings there. You can go to the top or the bottom one. Actually feels like decent material. Classic on the bottom, rubber for the strap. It's not bad. Sunny life, I don't know if you see it there or not. So I think the the propellers will sit out there and it kind of holds them flush in there and then this strap will hold them on the top. I'm gonna grab the drone, let's see, uh, let's see how she fits. All right guys, so we got it out. We got her strapped on here. This thing is pretty sweet. So if you, if you take a quick look, you can actually see the cover is actually protecting the downward uh, obstacle avoidance sensors. When you strap it on, it covers them up there. You got two different settings on the strap if you want it tight or loose. And it's uh, right there, the propellers are sitting there nice and, and free. They're not gonna break, but they're still protected. Fits really well, actually. I'm really surprised at the quality on this. Snap the strap off. Just pull it off. Comes out really easy too, so. That slides on very nice. Snug, slides on. Like I said, protects those downward facing eyes. Roll the strap over it. Strap her on. That's a nice little unit, guys, I like that. That's probably one of my favorite accessories so far. That's gonna protect a lot of blades and uh, save me a lot of grief. Hopefully I'm not uh, breaking blades anymore, just stuffing it into the bag. Not that I have, but I've gotten pretty close. So that's a sweet one. Let's move on to the next one. Okay guys, so we switched up the scenery a little bit in here. We uh, got a little bit better light in here and everything. So now you guys can take a proper look at, uh, at these nice little accessories for the Mini 3 Pro. So we'll leave that in frame. Next we'll get on to the uh, gold joysticks for the RC Pro here, just pulled her out. And the, the rest of the accessories we got today are for this unit here, for the RC. So I'll leave this in the shot so we can see what she looks like. You guys get a nice little shot over there. But yeah, let's go ahead and rip these open and see what they look like, see how they fit. I don't know if I'm ripping these open. 
I don't get to snap up and look at me. Special guy. Dump him out. First reaction on the quality? Actually not bad. Let's see how they thread on here. Well, I'd say that fits pretty good. Just in case you guys want a comparison of the stock ones, the factory ones. These new ones kind of have a flat design where the old ones have like a square checker design almost. Not bad, pretty close. What do you guys think, gold's better or the uh, the factory gray? What do y'all think? I'm digging the gold, the gold looks cool. So, another thing a lot of people have been asking, and I've been wondering myself, is do these aftermarket ones fit in the little slots in the back here? Looks like they do. That's pretty sweet. We're gonna leave it like that for now. One gold one, one gray one. I'm liking those. Nice little accessory. Also from Sunny Life. Pretty sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get into this last one here. <clears throat> or zero. This is the uh, this is the silicone sleeve for the RC itself, the RC controller, and uh, a couple screen protectors. So uh, so yeah, we take care of this thing and we don't bust it up too bad. Let's get this open here. Okay, we're gonna start with this. Well, that's a nice little unit. Feels kind of slick, not too bad right now. I guess we'll see once uh, once we get it strapped on there and see how it feels. See how it feels on the controller. Not bad though. I'm gonna have to take the uh, the cage off that we put on with the uh, neck strap to install this, but we'll get into that in a few here. We'll uh, we'll probably just pop into it for you guys. That looks like a nice little unit. And then the second piece is the glass screen protectors. Premium tempered glass professional screen protector. And these are specifically for this remote. Okay. Yeah, it looks like there's three units in here. One, two, three. Instructions in there how to install cleaning oh, okay and there's a whole bunch of kits to install clean and do all the stuff you need so we'll uh we'll get into that maybe we'll do a quick time lapse of that and uh yeah we'll get this rolling for you guys let's uh let's get this thing all safetyed up protected up here let's go Alright guys, first impressions of this thing, that's, this is sweet. This, uh, like I said, it feels almost a little slick, but I'm, I'm not complaining. It's it's not slippery, it's just comfortable slick. It's it's a weird one. It's a very weird one, but so all the buttons are there. You can still access your ports on the bottom. Uh, if we're being honest, this makes it a little bit harder, but it's not even that bad. And I really like the neck strap, so I'm not complaining. It's just, it is what it is, right? Back buttons. Those are for bicycle mounts and stuff like that, so I've been told. I haven't actually seen or used them yet, but I don't know if that's the brand of the sleeve, the, the silicone sleeve on it, BRDRC. I don't know, Bird RC? I don't know. So it's got nice little grips here. But, uh, it's a nice little unit. I don't. I feel like I'm not going to drop it, and it's uh, it's definitely protected. I, I'm, a, I'm a mechanic by trade, so my fingers are always disgusting. And uh, you know what, the gray controller always kind of showed that, so hopefully now it's uh, a little less dust covered, a little less shitty looking, right? Because even the drone, you start getting out there and chopping chopping trees or chopping bugs and you can start seeing the the discoloration on the gray. It's a uh, it's nice factory look, but yeah, they, they get kind of shitty after a while. So maybe I'll have to get a skin. What do you guys think, skin? 
I don't know. Still kind of blown away with this thing. I'm, I'm stoked that it's got those bottom eye protection, and it's a really sturdy case. It's not. It's not going nowhere. Not a case, I guess you call it a strap, but yeah, it's a nice unit. So haven't put the glass on yet. I'll probably do that in another episode or something. That's a little bit of a pain in the ass. You got to clean it and do all your stuff to it. So anyway, you guys like these uh, accessory videos? I'll keep them coming. This. This is only the first round of cool stuff I think we can get for this thing. It's uh, it's pretty endless for these little units. There's there's so much you can do with them, so much you can get for them, and uh, just endlessly make them yours, make them cool. They're sweet. Like I've said before, if you're thinking about getting a Mini 3 Pro, don't, just stop thinking about it. Just go get one, they're sweet. Those are one of those new Avadas. I kinda wanna check one of those out, but who knows? Maybe out of the price range, maybe I just don't need to spend bunch more money on another drone right anyway let me know what you guys think was a uh, was a cool little review of all these new goodies um i'm still thinking that my favorite's probably the neck strap and that uh the propeller strap that thing's key i definitely don't want to bust the uh, stuff going into my bag and i'll give you guys a quick little preview of it going into my bag and then not busting anything so let's take a look All right, so before these back ones would kind of, sometimes they'll peel up as you're trying to slide it into the bag here. Now, just kind of wiggle it because that, that strap is rubber. She slides right in there. You know that the propellers are safe. You can just kind of wiggle it in however you want. You know that everything's safe on there and there's no complaints. So, if you guys are looking for a strap, you get the Sunny Life stuff. Sunny Life makes a bunch of good stuff. The, the neck strap, the, uh, the joysticks, the neck strap bracket, everything. Everything you can get from those guys I've liked so far. So no complaints with the Sunny Life stuff. We'll see about this tempered glass. <clears throat> In this case, I, I'm liking it already, but like I said, we'll, uh, we'll long-term test it and we'll get some more flight videos for uh, you guys and we'll see we'll see how this stuff stands up to the test of time. I'm not nice with my stuff, so we'll see if it's worth it. Anyway, guys, see you in the next one.